I made a mock-up of the garden here, and I'm gonna write down where everything is planted so we can remember what we did where. We don't have anything fancy like garden markers or anything like that, so, so this is gonna be the next best thing. So here's a quick view of what we started by seed and where it's at. I don't know if just I didn't transplant the pods into bigger pots soon enough. I'm not sure why they kind of stunted their growth, but the same thing kind of happened with these cups and they have a lot more room in the cups than in the little peat pods. Um, I've got some here. You can see kind of how spindly they are. Hopefully they'll take off. And then this group here, which the corn is kind of pathetic and I'm not sure what, but you can see there's a lot of empty cups of stuff that just simply did not germinate. All of these peat pots, pods did not germinate either. And then here I've got all of our um, seeds that you just plant directly into the ground. Um, got some winter squash, carrots, radishes, that kind of thing um, that you're supposed to plant in the ground directly. Uh, we might have missed our window on that, but we're going to plant them anyway and see what we get. Good morning, everybody. 
thought I would give you a quick view of how our plants fared overnight. Um, looks like everybody is very happy. I uh, don't see any excessive wilting. Um, everything that was looking kind of wilty yesterday is actually perked up, um, particularly the squash here. So that's very exciting. I can feel there's some quite a bit of humidity in there, which is good. And um, I don't know if it's my imagination, but the tomato plant down there at the end yesterday was not touching the plastic. So either the plastic is sagging and it wasn't yesterday or uh, the tomato plant is extremely happy. All right, so today we are going to plant both of these last two beds. Uh, we'll put the stuff that needs to be protected in this second one here that has the cover and then the stuff that doesn't need to be protected like the seeds radishes carrots etc that just go right into the ground are going to go in this third bed and we're going to try to get this done today so hopefully we'll have some sort of a um some sort of a harvest this year all right well so far blue skies a little cloudy i think we're supposed to have a little bit of rain today you what rain is getting really old so hopefully we won't have very much rain today
So sometimes the older seeds, they don't germinate. So I'm probably gonna plant more than I need in case only one or two germinate. Um, All right, so what are we doing? So, we've got our irrigation running up to this point. We've got a T coming up to an elbow. It goes into here. And then we're going to take like a small piece like this and we'll poke it in right there. And each one will go to, I'll try to come down and see. Here. So each one of these is going to poke in and go to a certain location. And then from here, to go all the way down the rows, we got basically a soaker hose, but it's the little quarter inch stuff. So I could not even use the enclosed stuff, but I think to avoid putting water this whole way, for each of them. I think I'll just do this and then put a little connector that connects the soaker hose and it just runs all the way down. And it'll run all the way down each row. And then when this turns on, water will come up into here, go into each of the little things and soak each of the each of the rows. We'll see if it works. This is our this is our <laughs> first trial. We'll see. Never having done this before, hopefully it works. Yeah. So, are you going to do one going to here, one going to here, and one yep. going to here? Okay. Now, are we leaving it open-ended, or are we putting a little stopper well, on the end? Actually. Or are we winding it? We could wind it. And then just put a stopper. Just fold it over, basically. Yeah. And tape it like we did that one. Or we've got the little things that can go in the end. So, oh, yeah. you want to do that? Try that? It's yeah. going to 
I mean, it's not going to use that much more hose. No. So, okay, well, let's try that. You guys can see the water coming out of the you hear that you hear the pump yeah okay all right that one's doing what it's supposed to do This one appears to be doing what it's supposed to do. And this one also appears to be doing, oh, ha <laughs> ha, we left that end down there open. <laughs> it's just running out. <laughs> It's in the thing, right there. All right, so here is our garden as it is today. These two plants here are the ones that I bought, and of course they're doing wonderfully. 
The smaller squash is doing okay. Um, that's one of them I started from seed. My herbs are doing pretty well. As you can probably see, my plan for planting the peppers in the shade of the tomato plant did not go. That's because the tomatoes that I had planted in front, um, in front of these did not, did not do well. I've got this tomato right here that is hanging on for dear life. Don't think that's probably gonna do anything. And this guy here is actually a jalapeno and I don't think he's gonna end up doing anything either. This tomato is doing very well. Of course, that's one of the ones that I bought. So um, it's doing all right. I'm actually having to pinch little baby tomatoes off of it um, already so that it actually grows tall and strong instead of trying to fruit so soon. All right, here, these two squash plants, I planted, or actually all three of these, I planted from seed, started from seed and planted. So they're doing all right. I wouldn't say they were an abysmal failure, but they're certainly not a resounding um, success yet either. The corn is doing okay. The bigger plants there I are the ones I started from seed. And then I went ahead and planted some seeds directly in the soil and they're coming up. They're actually doing better than the ones I tried to start did um, at any point. This is something, I'm not sure what it is I planted here. I would have to consult my diagram. And I'm not sure what happened on this row here, but nothing is growing. And I, at this point, I can't even remember what it was that I planted there. Again, I'd have to consult the diagram. This third bed is actually doing all right. I got carrots here. And they're doing pretty well. And I've got some carrots here that are starting to come up as well. And then all along this row here are radishes and they seem to be doing really well. I'll probably have to do a little bit of thinning. I believe I've got a squash that I planted seeds and those two are some sort of squash that I planted, winter squash. They aren't doing a whole heck of a lot yet, but I'm hopeful that as the summer wears on is that they will come up. Um, them being winter squash, they, uh, I think they're just a little bit slower. As you can see, raspberries are doing well, and summer is finally here. We have beautiful blue skies and lovely summer heat. So that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any comments, we'd love to hear from you. Um, please leave your comments below. And if you haven't already, please hit like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye.